a couple of things. Uh, to start off, uh, uh, Shudra. So every child born is has Shudra guna, right? Right. So, um, so the thought came Adi Shankar when he was a baby. He had Shudra guna. Everybody, any child. Moksha can be attained only in a mature mind, right? So that maturity for Adi Shankara, for the Jeevan Muktas that we know of, it they are anomalies, right? They, it happened earlier, age-wise. They, they lived short lives, they were mature earlier, and they attained... Uh, Moksha. So, Prarabdha is what is in play here, right? And uh, Guna. So, in the previous birth, they were right there. and But the birth is, you are born equal. Everybody is born equal. So we start at, all of us start at the same point. Some of us have that extra, I don't know, grace that we uh, come to this knowledge earlier than some others and some others, they get it much, much earlier than many of us. So the question is, I don't know if I have a question. I just wanted you to comment on my thought process. Uh, meaning, am I am I thinking in the right way? Yeah. So on the one hand, <clears throat> you said everybody starts with their own prarabdha karma. Shamitam Guruji, my grandson wants to say. Namaskaram to you. Oh, you can. Hi, how are you? Good. Huh? <laughs> he says good. He is you very like good. to make bacon with me? Where are you going with this hat? Why are you wearing this? What is this hat? I am wearing this hat. He is asking you, do you like to play cricket with me? <laughs> yes, I really want to play cricket with you. Really, I have been telling you. Your 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 party that I want to play cricket with. Um, <laughs> you stay at the burn up there. I'm gonna come there, and then we both will play cricket. Okay. Yeah, that's a good idea. Now you're talking something. I like your ideas. Can you do that, please? Yeah, you first set up the burn up after the class is done. Okay. <laughs> and okay. and then I'm gonna come there and then India. Okay. Yeah, let's do that. Once you come, I'll do one thing. I'll cancel all my classes. And I tell, what's your name again? Rudresh. Rudresh. Yeah. I, I'm going to tell all my students, Rudresh is coming. Okay, guys, you are not going to disturb us. We're going to play cricket. Shall we do that? Right. And then, I'm, you're going to be the bowler. My partner is going to be the batsman and I'm going to be the wicket keeper, okay? <laughs> oh, that also. Okay. I think I can handle that. All right. All right. We can do that. You better practice catching the balls properly. Okay? You can go your classes and I will set up the balloons and then we, you come here and then we will just play. <laughs> <laughs> Very it's good. going to be a big party. We are all coming. <laughs> no, he was. He was. I was listening to the class, so he was going on asking. I want to talk. I want to talk. I said, wait, let the class get over. Then I'll ask you to say namaskaram. Very good. Very good. No, he's good. He's 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 already up there. He's ready to challenge us. <laughs> Thank you, Thank you. Sorry, Guruji. Thank you. So, so comments on Swapna's observations. 
So there are two things you said, right? Which don't seem to sync up. What are those two things? Our life is governed by our prarabdha karma. Therefore, each of us is born with a different load of prarabdha karma. The Shankaracharya being one extreme, others are there. The other statement you made us, all of us are born equal. What you just said before was, all of us are not born equal. Because we don't have equal prarabdha karma. Our prarabdha karma are all very different. So when we say all of us are born equal, what we mean is something else by that statement, right? You're saying human being is equal. No one is is to be uh, is to be considered as somehow superior to other person. Qualifications wise not equal. Everything wise not equal, but still they are equal. If you say that means hey, you treat them as your equal. There's no reason to put down a person. Uh, put down oneself also. That's what you mean by when you say they are equal. No, no, no. I, I didn't mean that. I went with what the explanation of uh, Shudra, right? We all, Everybody, the baby is driven by Kama. So we're Rana, all, right? that way we're all equal. That way we're all equal. We're all Shudra. Shudra that, Guna. That is what I meant. That we are. Yeah, because physically, that's all we, we, we physically are very, we are, the child is incapable. Mentally, though, there is obviously Prarabdha Karma decides how that mental composition is and what the surroundings are. And then that baby takes on a very unique journey. That's true. Yeah. And uh, another uh, comment was. Uh, the verse uh, 8 and 9 uh, <laughs> I don't know I am feeling so disturbed inside oh my gosh uh, it's um, throughout I just kept saying Om Devi Nama Om Devi Nama it was creating a lot of a um, lot of um, uh, I wouldn't say stress but I could feel Physically, I was feeling different. <laughs> so, it is, I don't know, it's, it's it, one, I, I, I think I have to meditate upon this and uh, come to a place of, I don't know, peace, acceptance, um, and not get um, carried away by the negativity. I think I'm I'm finding myself. I I feel that inside my body right now is. It's it's very disturbing. Yeah, so it's a language that Krishna has not spoken in a long time, and uh, he's talking about destruction. And it is disturbing, yeah. It is disturbing. So that's not surprising. And it's a disturbing possibility. Saying it's possible. It's, it's how the worldview is going to be, then destruction is inevitable. That's what Krishna is saying. And that's why, Arjuna, you must fight this war. And finally, after all this discussion, Arjuna is going to go fight. He's not going to go to the ashram and go attend a one month camp or not. No, no such thing. Got to fight a war. And so, that means what? War is part of peace. It just war is Krishna. According to Krishna, you need just wars. Otherwise, these forces will multiply. He himself says, uh, what does he say? Paritranaya sadhunam vinashaya cha duskrita. He himself is saying it. And so the, the human beings may not be able to deal with certain situations. Then he says, I will come. Right? And so it's a, it's there. So no, we have to we have to come to terms with it. We have to come. And the reference you made to Keno Upanishad, uh, at the moment when you said it really moved me, if if it is okay with everybody, could you repeat it? Okay. Mantra that you chanted. Okay, okay. 
ಕೇರ್ ಆಪರೇಷನ್ ಇಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಮುಂಡಕ ಸತ್ಯಮೇವ ಜಯತೆ ಶಾಂತಿ ಮಂತ್ರ ಬೇಸ್ಡ್ ಆನ್ ದ ವೇದ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಚೈತ್ರಿ ಉಪನಿಷದ್ ವಿ ಚಾಂಟ್ ಷಣ್ಣೋ ಮಿತ್ರ ಶಮ್ಮರು ಕೇಳಿಕ್ಟ್ಸ್ಟರ್ನಿ and then to maintain the journey also is not easy like walking on a razor's edge says yama because siddhara so but it falls in place it really falls in place it does yes it does yeah yeah definitely dhanyavada i have more to say but i won't take much time i mean i won't take more time <laughs> another time swami, swami ji used to say lot of species are getting endangered another species that is getting endangered is this dharmic person also this dharma also is getting endangered today we were talking about kanchi swami ji was telling us about kanchi mahapriya chandrashekarendra saraswati and uh, Yeah, as a young boy, he used to, he used to, it seems, uh, Swamiji, Swami Paravidya, he used to, when the, when the Acharya was teaching, he used to open the door and look like this. And then Acharya would say, what are you doing? Come. Like that he used to say. Normally they won't say come. And so he used to sit like that. All these experiences he used to share before and yesterday he was sharing. yeah some topic came up and then the shaucham i brought up this topic of shaucham and shankaracharya commentary he says shaucham he says bahya shaucham external purity you get through water and mud brijjaladikam he says this water water and mud gives you purity i i had this discussion with swami ji yesterday and then swami ji was telling us i was thinking i was trying to justify you know all these elephants they put mud on their themselves etc i've seen some people using mud the mud bath and all they have you know why will you have a mud bath if mud is going to be an impure thing poisonous thing no it can't be so there has to be some reason and swami ji said kanji mahapariva used to used to wash their body with mud why mud because mud is prithvi what is the attribute of prithvi gandaha gandavati prithvi mud you know when it drains the, the aroma of the, of the that comes out from the mud is good and uh, so they used to use that so in places where they go where there is no water and all that they used to do this it's and they used to apply vibhuti on parts of the body which become wet they used to apply vibhuti all over this kind of stories he was telling us yesterday so that's why this culture west cannot understand eastern culture this is i think we have to first accept is they are trying to meet science is trying to come to burma with this kind of discussion is a waste of time and while we are all getting destroyed in the process and it's not going to happen and we have to get at it and we have to do whatever it takes from a dharma perspective and uh, you can see you can see india's rice you can see tell me which which country really likes india's rice i would like to really see the prime minister may say a few good words periodic no there is lot of jealousy out there they can't handle it you see all the interviews you will see 
so jealous they are. Anyway, this is how it's going to be, I think. Sapna, I think this utopia is not there. It, it's going to be a long journey before we reach those, those worlds. But yeah, but that's what makes life worth living also. Yeah. So it's not all negative. We should have a purpose. That gives us a purpose. Okay, Anuradha, you go ahead. To begin with, that mud thing, even we did it when we were young in Bengal. Like whenever we used to go, someone said, it says, hate mati. Like, you know, the whenever you go to the washroom, you have to do hate mati. In so, fact, uh, sorry. So oh, we used to do that, especially... Okay. So you used huh? to do what? No, you, there used to be a pot of mud there, and then. Uh, no, see, like in the uh, villages, you know, you don't have washrooms, right? So you just pick up the mud, like the prithvi. You pick up the earth, and that's the uh, shocham. Correct. Correct. You're right. Uh -huh. yeah. And uh, I remember doing that in our villages also. And they used to, and even then, there they, they were, they were no restrooms. That's right. Of today's thing. So it's all, the nature's call is given to the nature. And then you yeah. cover it up, cover it up with, with, with the clay, nature. clay and yeah. mud. And yeah. it'll take, take care of that. Yeah. Now, coming back to my thing, and Sapnaji kind of helped me. <laughs> She, she asked my question, the first one, about, you know, like last class, which I missed, Haraprasadji asked a question about karma phala, right? And the prarabdha and all that comes under karma phala. So these <clears throat> asuris, with the asuri sampat people, they're there, right? They will need a lot of good karmas to come back. So when you think in a higher realm, then, you know, like, we are all the same. So they're doing that, but they will also come one day. But the last thing you said about the war, that what separates Gita from the Upanishads. Correct. <clears throat> Correct. <clears throat> so Gita is, that's why they say Gita is a manual for life. Which means, which means, you have to continue doing what you have to do. And whether you're a jnani or a jnani, okay? Jnani means, okay, do as with an attitude of karma yoga. Jnani, continue doing the same. Okay, continue doing based on the ashram. Ashrama decides what one does. Yeah. Jnanam doesn't decide what one does. Ashrama yeah. decides what one does. Because all through, all through this, the Gita, Krishna is talking about we are not doing anything. Prakriti is doing everything for us, but we, the our ahankara <clears throat> says that I am doing it. So that's it. It's it, like you said, that's a real change from even Gita. Because all this time, you know, that's that. And now suddenly, why are we punishing them? Or, or even thinking that, oh, they are bad. It's all Prakriti that is making them do that. And so your point is? So that's a kind of, so like on the 16th chapter, suddenly he changes the tune. And 
And that's why I said, and when you, like when Swapnaji was saying, and I'm thinking like, okay, like why would I be, like, you know, why would it disturb me? I was thinking. And then suddenly when you said the war, then it reminded me, okay, this is Gita. And our Krishna wants Arjun to fight. So there's a little bit of, you know, <clears throat> because in Upanishads, they don't talk like this. That shows, that really shows that it is talking about a Siddha Vastu. Means nothing new is going to be created by this. You are not, I'm not going to change what I do. I'm only going to change the attitude with which I do what I do. What I do is defined by my ashrama and by my varna. If I'm a kshatriya, I have a certain duties. And I'm a grahastha kshatriya, then that's grahastha and kshatriya combined. Yeah. Okay, duties will define my duties. Jnanam is always there for anybody. Jnanam is always there for anybody. Nobody can be told this is not for you. Yeah. And my performance of duties helps me gain that Antakarana Shuddhi. And so Krishna now is differentiating the people who are not like him, or whom all these ashramas and varnas are meaningless. Yeah. But on the 11th chapter, he is saying that I am the papam, I am this. <clears throat> So that that's you know. Yeah, what that means? Huh? What that helps us? What that tells us is that everything is me. But he also says dharma avrindho kamos me. So uh, earlier, so I am the desire which is unopposed to dharma. That also he says. That means you can't, I have to follow dharma regardless of who I am, where I am and what kind of knowledge I have. Dharma also is Ishwara, dharma also is Ishwara. But dharma is what? They are all ahitaha, jagataha, nasha, which is all adharma. Even though I am adharma, you can't be, you can't follow adharma. There are many other ways of following me. You can't say, other God, you're also Adharma, therefore I want to just, <laughs> just go around beating people up. I can't say that. I can't say that. And so, that's the way to look at it, uh, Anuradha. We can't, we can't. <laughs> what we are studying, uh, Brahma Vidya cannot condone Adharma. No. That's to be, that's a message. Karmanye Vadika Raste. Ma Paleshu Kadachana, Ma Karma Pala Bhu, Ma Karma Pala Hetur Bhu, Ma Tes Asangos to Akarmani, or Ma Tes Angos to Akarmani. Yeah, so Akarmani. So, may I not be attached to non performance of my duties? Karmanya Karma Yaf Pashet, Akarmani Chakarma Yaha, Sabuddiman Manushesh. Okay. But if that guy is a grahastha, that person continues to perform grahastha duties. The person cannot say, walk away. Cannot yeah, walk away. That's everywhere. That's in the Upanishads also. It's there. Right. Some Upanishads will talk about it. But yeah. it's, not the top, it's not the topic of Upanishads. No. It's no. not the primary topic. Yeah. 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 So, anyway. <laughs> Thank you. And about your point is well taken. He is uh, he is playing a different tune now in this chapter. Tamuji, go ahead. No, just a point when you said about that uh, using mud. There are hundreds of mud soaps available in the Amazon for fancy prices. <laughs> mud soaps. Mud soap. Available at the fancy prices. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Red mud with all these things, so many pictures and all these things they get. That's why this culture is very difficult to understand. 
for other people, Western people. Very strange. Very strange. A wealthy person doing namaskara to a to a to somebody who a half naked person. All these things you want. The namaskara itself you can't see. On top of that, doing like this namaskaras and applying ash all over the body and tyaga. Renunciation. Goal of life is renunciation. It's totally opposite. Totally opposite of Western world. How can goal of life be renunciation? Some of the incurable skin diseases are treated with mud bath in Ayurveda. Thank you. So, good. So, those are all by the way. And uh, we will continue this discussion. He's going, he's going, he's on a he's on a roll. We don't keep talking. In fact, today I thought I would show you a map. You know that map? I had the map with me. Uh, if you have a minute, let me show you that map. Okay. Uh, let me know if you are able to see my screen. Uh, put okay. it in the WhatsApp. Let's see. Are you there in this? Uh, are you able to see my screen? Yes, we can see. Okay. So, this is the map that I had in mind. I had already put it in the map, uh, WhatsApp. Okay. Clash of Civilizations, Samuel Huntington. The book also. Ah, uh, one second. Where is this? Annotate. Okay. So, this is one. Pointer, pointer. It's supposed to be a pointer. There it is. Mouse. Spotlight. Okay, this is what I wanted. Okay. So this is it, right? So you saw that. I uh, Christian world is all blue, including Australia. Islamic world, he put it he puts in green, as though <laughs> South Africa and now green has spread all over. By and this, immigrants. Yeah, green is there here also. China is red. India is shown in a different color. I don't know what this is. Why this is shown in this color? I don't know. Uh, that's Guyana. Oh, Guyana, that's right? A lot of Hindu people, right? So, Guyana, Anjali is from Guyana. So, that's why it's Sydney. It's like this. Interesting. Very interesting. Very interesting. That, uh, uh, that's Guyana and Suriname. Guyana and Suriname. Suriname is, uh, it was a Dutch Guyana. And uh, the regular Guyana was British Guyana. So, okay. both of them have substantial Hindu populations. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Very interesting. Anyway. You know, today, today I was watching a video that Guyana or British Guyana has found oil, a lot of oil. So the of course the West has to go in and was telling the president that you have to be so careful when you dig out, they plan to dig out that, you know, you will do the poison, you will like the environment and all that. And this guy just gave it to him. Like he said, you are telling me about, like we have so many forests, we have so many things and you are telling me about environment? You look at your thing. So it was quite interesting. BBC guy. BBC guy, right? Yeah. BBC yeah. Guy. yeah. <laughs> I loved it. Very I loved it. Very interesting. It's time to give it back to them. 
ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय धन्वे अमृतकलशहस्ताय सर्वामय विनाशनाय त्रैलोक्यनाथाय श्री महाविष्णवे नम